Welcome back to the 1999 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships in the second event on this final day. The men's 110 meter hurdles, collegiate record held by Ronaldo Nehemiah. The collegiate leader this season, Terrence Trammell of South Carolina, with a time of 13.29, he will run in lane five. And Vern, just a sophomore, he was the runner up last year as a freshman. He's also entered in the men's 100 meters. No athlete at the NCAA level has won both the hurdles and the 100 in the same meet. William Arese of USC will run in lane one. Adrian Woodley of Syracuse in two. Ron Bramlett of Middle Tennessee State in three. Dwayne Wallace of Tennessee has finished fourth to Trammell four times in head-to-head -head competition. Greg Richardson of Central Michigan, Aubrey Herring of Indiana State, and Chris Allen of Texas A&M. You know, Vern, I think the biggest thing about Terrence Trammell is where he is training. He's training under Curtis Fry. He trains with Alan Johnson, who's the Olympic and world champion. When you have someone to train with like that every single day, it really, really raises your level. And not only that, I think he has a lot more experience. When you're training with the best in the world, how do any of these other guys look like they're that tough to beat, you know? <laughs> when you've got someone else schooling you all the time. And when you see him run, he runs so much like Alan Johnson. He's just a little bit taller, but he looks amazingly technically like Alan. You know, yesterday, I mean, the other day when we saw him in the semifinal, we looked at him, we looked at each other and said, oh my gosh, he looks exactly like Alan Johnson. Jamel, not the first out of the box, but now he quickly picks up speed. Wayne Wallace running in second. Terrence Trammell of South Carolina wins it with Wallace second, and Greg Richardson is third. Terrence Trammell hit five hurdles in that race, including the top of the first three hurdles. You know what? He's got a great head on his shoulders because he was able, as you can look at him, he's going, oh, my goodness. He was able to keep himself together and still win that race. And, in fact, one of the key hurdles was about, what, Dwight, hurdle six or seven? He hit, really threw him off balance, but he was able to regather himself and win the race. And, Vern, you mentioned he did not get the best start in the field. But one thing that, as you mentioned, Carol, his focus was so good. He smashed the first couple three hurdles and was really in jeopardy of being thrown completely out of his rhythm. And, and even being able to finish the race. Look, he just hammers hurdle number three. Then four is clean, but he hits five with his trail leg. But he's got such a good head on his shoulders, and he's watched Alan Johnson have races like this. He's almost fallen three times in this race, but he is so much better than everyone else in this field that no one can make up the gap. No one can take advantage. You can win them pretty, or you can win them ugly, but a win is a win. <laughs> Well, he wins it, but it was painful to watch. Terrence Trammell captures first place. Dwayne Wallace of Tennessee is second. And Greg Richardson of Central Michigan captures third. And here's Michelle with the winner. All right, Vern, one down, one to go. You've just won the hurdles. Next up is the 100. No one has ever won both at this meet. What makes you confident you'll be the first? I just carry God with me, try to do the best I can through the whole way. It's been a long week have one more race and I think I can pull it through. Good luck, congratulations. Thank you. Vern, back up to you. Terrence Trammell wins the first of the two uh, events in which he has entered.